Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to use code snippets. Now code snippets is a really cool feature and I think it will be helpful if you learn how to use this to be able to save pieces of code that you might reuse over and over again. So what I have open is a previous demonstration that I had for animating a series of images. And what I'm really interested in in saving with this is the different ways to do an array, right? So especially when you're new to working with Objective-C, this is a little bit different format for creating an array that you might be used to. So we have two techniques. We have one technique where we initialize an array and list all of the images that we want to put into the array. And then we have another array where we're looping through and creating the array programmatically. So what I want to do is save a version of each of these into my code snippets so that I don't have to say, okay, now where, what example did I have that in and where can I go and copy that? So what we're going to do is learn to save snippets that you can save in your own library and you don't have to switch back to find the other project that you were working on, find the code and copy and paste it into your file. So I'm going to open up the utilities panel and I'm just going to bring this object library up higher so that you can see more of what's here. But one of the options in here is the code snippet library. It's got the little curly braces in here. So if you look in here, there are a bunch of different code snippets that are already predefined for you. So if you're looking for something, uh, you could go through here and see if there's anything like the dialog method. If I click on it once, you can see here's the dialog method. So if I wanted to add that to my code someplace, I would actually, I'll just um, click in here where my cursor is and if I, I can single click and choose to copy this information or I can edit it if I wanted to. But if I click and drag, I can put this code snippet into my page. Now I'm getting an error here because this doesn't belong here. So I'm just going to delete that. So there are pre-existing code snippet libraries and there's ones for specifically for dealing with iOS development. But what I really like is the user library. So you can check the user library and there are, I have a few code snippet examples in here. So one for adding a camera to a screen for an augmented reality um, project. If I wanted to bring up alert code view Right, I have all the information here for creating an alert, just a basic alert, and then also um, to handle the alert when it's clicked, when one of the buttons in there is clicked. So let's say now I want to take this code from an array, and I want to have that as an example to keep in my library. So I can say, I could select this, and then I'm just going to click and drag it over into my library and we pop up here with my code snippet. So we'll say NS array of images. And then we could get into more information in here and even a little shortcut. I'm just going to click done. And now if I tap on this, you'll see the window that pops up that has the code in here. So when I'm working in a project, if I was like, okay, I remember I saved that snippet of how to initialize an array of images, then I could just drag this out. Now I may want one for this technique, right? This one is going to save me copying and pasting and changing the numbers in here. So this array is created the same, uh, creates the same array as this example up here. So again, I'm going to make sure this is selected and I'm going to drag it into my library and instead of my code snippet we'll say dynamic image array and done. So now anytime in the future when I want to create an array dynamically 
I have my sample code here that I could just click and drag, pull over onto my page and have the code there. So that's a, a useful little tool and I just thought I would share that with you and I hope that it might save you some time and help you to be a little more productive as you learn to develop for iOS.